Hello everyone, welcome to the episode of Let's Complete Ender Roll Forgotten Stories. So, in the last episode we made the long journey to Ark, which, yeah, you know, it was just mainly just walking, but, you know, we also explored a whole lot of locations on the way. So, we are now in Ark, which I am quite excited about. So, we were told that we can use the signposts to travel, which we will do, but first I would like to explore a little bit. So, this is the foreign quarter that we're currently in. Uh, I don't think we're not going to do any quests. Right now, we're not going to collect any quests. We will do that probably after we've uh, spoken to Jesper and seen what the hell we're doing next. <laughs> I'm not sure. So that's the barrack quarters, which I guess is, yeah, just like the guard quarters, I suppose. We should actually be taking these flowers because, yeah, we do need to... Uh, well, I, mean, I suppose, Social yeah, we don't, we don't increase our alchemy just by using it, which is so weird to me. Like, surely that would still level up our Luck skills. Blessed. I don't know. Barrack quarters. Yeah, I guess there's just a whole load of guard posts. Around here, this is a very beautiful city, though, and I love that it's actually uh -huh. like it really looks like a city, you know? Like it doesn't really look, um, it doesn't look as planned out as you know, like Skyrim cities does, which I love. We have a gatehouse here with a chain. But, oh, okay, we can't actually use that chain. <laughs> Fair enough. We've got a yeah, just another gatehouse. This guy did want to talk to us, but I think we'll we'll leave that for now. I don't really want to start anything right now. I just kind of want to explore a little bit. So we've got a whole load of posters here, which is pretty cool. A whole load of Oh, I really wish we could actually climb that ladder, that would be cool, but we can't. <laughs> Ark Doppelbock, which, yeah, is just like wine or something. Oh, there we go, we just go with the foreign quarter. Ark the Dancing Nomad. Is that, uh, like a, a tavern? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's just have a look around. So, we have, what is this? Treasure Hunter Wanted. Screw hats, odds, and ends. Incorporated searches on able man or woman for an assignment based on searching for old treasures. Good payment guaranteed, provided that you do a fine job. If you're interested, please come see us at the Guild House. Okay. Trails of the Past. The dancing... No is that the Guild House? I don't know, but the point is we have that quest. So that's good. We can just... Uh, we can do that whenever. So, yeah, the foreign... I'm not really sure what, what is in the foreign quarter. I mean, we've got, like, some stores. Rotang's Bakery. So, I mean, foreign quarter kind of suggests that that's where the, all the foreigners live. So I suppose we fit right in here, don't we? <laughs> But, oh yeah, look at another one of these things. What what were they called? Le Le Leroy's or something? <laughs> I've forgotten. Sharp woodcutter axe. A chicken. Oh oh well, I mean, he's dead, so you you won't mind me taking the, the meat, right? <laughs> Not gonna. Well, I suppose it would do you good. Uh, you're just a laborer, so I assume you probably don't you sell anything. What is the? Oh I'm yeah, it's just um yeah, you smoking. And work for a Kilean. But I don't think she would like that. What I'm trying to say is, stay away from those olive-skinned cutthroats. They lure you in with nice words and big promises, then bang, you put your cross under a contract that makes you a slave for a lifetime. Oh, but this isn't nice. Why would they do that? Because they're a greedy pack who have as much decency and path abidingness as a bloody veteer, that's why. I tell you, boy, I am so sick of those fucking glittery liars. If I were the Grand Master, I'd have thrown them out of this country long ago. Bastards, all of them. Uh, okay. Some nice classic races. <laughs> Aren't we? I forget what race are we? <laughs> I have no idea. Like, at all. Uh, but yeah, aren't we like whatever he was talking about? I don't know. <laughs> Half Killian or something? Hi, you've got extremely orange hair. I don't know if you know that. I've got a nice little uh, chicken shed here. Oh, or chicken nest, whatever you want to call it. Okay, anything else interesting? So yeah, this kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, you know the new Rings of Power thing, you know, the whole guild, guild stuff when you first get there, which I know a lot of people have been critical about, but I really like Rings of Power. We have, oh, screw hats, odds and ends. Okay, excellent. That's that's where we need to go for the other the other quest. We have, okay, sewers. I was wondering how, how to get into mm -hmm. the Undercity because I'm kind of started the sole place. Learn the reason for Mega Inford's bad temper. Okay, well, not yet, not yet. Okay, I didn't even talk to it. I just walked it up. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think this is, yeah, pretty much like the whole foreign quarter. I mean, this is way bigger than I thought it would be. Way, way bigger. Where does this go? Oh, to nowhere. Lovely. <laughs> okay, kind of anticlimactic there. We have, what is this? Greybeard's, oh, potion parlor. Ooh, that might actually be uh, worthwhile. Can we sell stuff? Hopefully, hell yeah, look at this. Nice, nice fire going. Walk blessed. Thank you. Je Jeraminus Greybeard. It, it's, hello? All you'll ever need, but please, take a look. Anything interesting around here? 
Apart from my wares, you mean? <laughs> well, jokes aside, no. At the moment, it's quiet around here. I thank Malthus it is. I mean, you don't hear a lot of good things from the streets these days. Vatiers, brigands. This country has seen better times. Uh, okay, well, why do you keep walking away? I need to sell what some What do you stuff. need? S sell stuff. Oh, a lot. Tell me if something catches your eye. Okay, so he does have... Oh, there's 12 Ambrosia. That might be good. I mean, they're very expensive. We've got 2,282 coins right now. So let's start by selling him all of those potions we made, <laughs> which they're not worth too much when you put them all together. But hey, it might add up. Maybe, who knows? Yeah, we'll just, yeah, we'll give them all the ones that we made since they're not going to be particularly good. I don't know what this no effect potion is. All the effects of this potion were removed through distill. Oh, through distillation. I see. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, we have, yeah, no, I want, uh, I want just potions. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, we'll sell him the, the, the Chimicum one since obviously we can't use those. Uh, I think they were worth quite a little bit as well, which is nice, although probably... Less since, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of these health potions. They're not worth anything. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, fortify magic, re yeah, mana regeneration. We're not going to be using mana, really, especially because it uh, uh, obviously, you know, increases our uh, arcane fever, which is not great. Health flux, health regeneration. Eh, yeah, no, we can get rid of those. Uh, life potion, mana potion. Don't want those. I don't know. Well, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if we need to sell things like, you know, individually in order to increase our speech or whatever, but of course, again, you don't increase your skills by just using them, which doesn't make any sense, but hey, wolf blood. Yeah, we definitely don't need that, so don't question why I have this, okay? It's just, it's completely normal. Uh, frost resist- well, yeah, we'll, we'll keep, like, a couple of resistances, I suppose. Uh, I mean, should we get rid of the rancid ones? <laughs> I don't know, because we do have these nice ones. Like, yeah, I think we'll get rid of the rancid ones. Um, and yeah, we'll keep the other ones, the, the nice ones. We'll get rid of all these rancid, because they're not, they don't do much anyway. So yeah, we'll get rid of those. Okay, and we'll keep the fingersmith one just in case we do need to use sleight of hand for something. So, anything, oh, scroll of fireball? I assume that it's red, that means it's stolen. So I don't know if we want to sell that to him, because he might get upset. We'll get rid of the mage light scroll. Uh, we'll get rid of, we don't really need water breathing, I don't think. Uh, we might though. We'll get rid of... No, I think we'll keep that. I mean, we could get rid of the scroll of fireball, but I don't know if we'll get in trouble if we try and sell him something stolen. So I don't want to do that. So we have... You can have these uh, heavy armor books. Because <laughs> we don't need... And two-handed. We don't need those. Uh, yeah, there we go. Thank you very much. And we'll keep the ingredients. And I suppose... Yeah, he can have these now. Because, like, we've... We, well, I suppose we haven't learned that one. But he can have these because we've learned them. So, yeah. Um... And yeah, we'll give me Ambrosia one as well. Thank you very much. So, yeah, thank you very much, Jeremy. You've been very helpful. So, he doesn't really have... Uh, yeah, we won't buy anything just yet. So, that is pretty much the foreign quarter, I believe. So, for now, we will head, and I think we want to go to the market district next. Because I think that's also where we're supposed to meet Jesper. But obviously, we don't want to do that just yet. Man, I need to find my way back oh. to the signpost. <laughs> I have no... Like, can we get to the other districts just by walking? Or do we actually have to use sign... Okay, that goes outside... We just saw a whole load of doors to the barracks, but it's not really what we want. We want the, we, you know, we want the market district, not not the barracks. Is this the market district? Maybe. Ah, look at this. Yeah, here we go. We do My have a dad. whole load of districts. We have nice hair, sir. Watch yourself. Okay, the yeah, that's the marketplace. Time of the day. Marketplace. And ma okay, they all go to the marketplace. Why do we have to go through that one specifically? I don't know. But yeah, we do want to go to the marketplace. Uh, I think we've still got a few things to sell, and we can also see if we can upgrade any of our gear. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah, it looks like Jesper's over there, but we want to give him the swerve for now. Nice dress. Well blessed, my friend. Okay, so, Iron Hoof? Hmm? The right thing for okay, you don't sell anything, that's disappointing. Who who sells things? Do you sell things? Oh, you sell food. Greetings. Starting a touching effigy. Ascertain where no, the gallery and art has to close. I okay, we must have heard a rumor or something. Walk blessed. Okay. Sure. What do you have? Do you have, you got a whole lot of blueprints? Some necklaces. We already have one of those, though. Crafting books. I think we're okay on... No, okay, so these are skill books, but just for the crafting skills. Okay, so, I mean, do we want to... They're actually not that expensive. So I think we do want to buy those, right? He's got seven. <laughs> And yeah, you know what? That only costs 112. So yeah, I think we do want to buy those. 
Um, yeah, there we go. So we've got some lock picking stuff. Handicraft. You know, what is handicraft? I'm not sure. Alchemy is obviously alchemy. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll get, we'll take the five apprentice alchemy books. Do you have, here we go. He does have some other light armor stuff. Okay, so I think we, we still want apprentice for now. But he does have, yeah, see, they really ramp up. Oh my god, look at that master one. Oh my god, 1,390, Jesus. Yeah, okay, so we'll take a couple of... Uh, we'll take all five uh, apprentice light armor. I think that pretty much should get us up to the adept bracket, which would be good. Do you have any... Yeah, one-handed. And yeah, we'll take the four one-handed apprentice, since that's the only way to increase our skills, which sucks. Now, do I have anything to sell you? Anything at all? Blood... Yeah, I mean, that's kind of unique, so I kind of want to keep it, but... <laughs> at the same time... I do need to get rid of stuff. And yeah, like, I want to keep this set of the rat catcher thing, but it's kind of just weighing us down. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll get rid of them at some point. Do we need to, do we need to keep the blueprints? Or are they just like the recipes that we can just sell them after we've used, like, learnt them? I don't know. We'll keep them for now. Uh, that's unique. Hunting, lo okay, iron claymore. We can get rid of that. Iron warhammer. We can get rid of that. Uh, anything else? We're wearing the leather helmets. Uh, longbow? Yeah, we'll get rid of the longbow. We'll keep the hunting longbow, since that is better. Anything else? We haven't really got that much to sell, to be honest, which sucks. Oh, rattled robe of magic regeneration. You can have that. Uh, ring of light mentor. You can also have that. No, we want to keep the teleport scrolls, of course. Silver candlestick, silver garnet ring. I made that, by the way. <laughs> I made these amulets. I was just using up our, our stuff. Uh, we could also, yeah, we could probably sell some of these spell tones, but we need to learn them first, don't we? Weak shaman amulets. Yeah, we don't have wolf blood anyway, so we can get rid of that. Okay, thank you very much. Well. Now, let's have a read of those books, shall we, that we just bought, or, the, or consume them. <laughs> just so dumb. Okay, one-handed books. Excellent. Let's just let's eat all of these. <laughs> so, our one-handed is now at 21, which is excellent. And light armor. One, two, three, four, five. Our light armor should now be at about, like... 19, 20, 21, 22, I think that should be. Uh, when the notifications catch up, I think. Yes, indeed, I think that's correct. Okay, excellent. So let me just double check. Can we read those? Uh, oh, yes, yeah, spell tomes. Hell yeah, we read all of them. Amazing. Uh, can we read those? Yeah, blueprints. Do we have to read them? No, it's just a tool. So like, I assume we need them in our inventory in order to be able to craft with them. So, I mean, they don't weigh that much, so it's not too bad. But yeah, I really want to be able to put them down. Anyway, let's uh, let's now press Y and head to our magic, magic skill land <laughs> because we have, I think, two memory points to spend. So we have damage and light armor currently. So what is the next? Have we got tier two? Okay, we don't. So we can unlock tier two. Light armor is another 15% more effective. I think we definitely want that. So let's do that. One memory point remaining. What is the next on this? All potions are 15% more effective. Okay, that's not particularly helpful right now. Windwalker, poison cloak, sensitive tongue. What's windwalker? If you're wearing solely light armor, your stamina regeneration is increased by 30%. That would be pretty good. Sensitive tongue. Consuming an ingredient reveals more of their alchemy effects from now on. That would also be kind of cool. Poison Cloak. Brood potions 30% more effective. Okay, so yeah, this is kind of like potions and light armor in one go. <laughs> uh, potion, yeah, more potions. Lightweight. It's not, yeah, light armor doesn't weigh anything. Okay, so yeah, we definitely want to be going up here. But for now, uh, do we have any more damage? We have both of, yeah, okay, we've got both of the mercenary ones. Relentless Strike. Power attacks as one-handed weapons consume 25% less stamina. That would be amazing. What else we got? 10% oh, critical da- oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know how important critical damage is. Hand it with axes, do additional bleeding damage. Mace ignore 40%. That's exactly the same as Skyrim stuff. I think different values, but yeah, can't- yeah, Bone Breaker. One of them is even called Bone Breaker in Skyrim. That's interesting. But yeah, I think we want Relentless Strike. Power attacks with one-handed weapons consume 25% less stamina. Unlock. Amazing. There we go. So yeah, I've got two memory points and now Back to the, the, the land of the real the real stuff, the, the real world. I don't know, I, I still need to think of something to call that strange strange place we've got going on there. Okay, so, we have, ooh, do you sell anything? Oh, hello, I haven't seen you around here before. Uh, just take a look around and tell me if you see anything you like. Okay, this guy's a master ventriloquist, apparently. Okay, well, yeah, that's clearly a quest, but I just want to... Oh, a bit of this. <laughs> I just want to see what you that, have right now. Uh, feel free to take a look. Okay, do you have... 
Oh yeah, we didn't read the lockpicking books, did we? We need to do that. Okay, you have a whole load of, yeah, sleight of hand, crafting books. Do you have, yeah, more learning books? You do have another apprentice light. Yeah, let's learn that, actually. Um, any more one-handed books? You have one more apprentice one. So yeah, we're nearly at the point where we're not apprentice in that, but we want to keep going. Okay, I think, yeah, we're not going to do... I was going to, like, have some sneak because, you know, it would be useful because sometimes it's... Oh, he's got transportations. Oh! Oh! <laughs> He's got transportation squad. Oh, they're actually not too they're not actually not too expensive. Hell yeah. Okay, that's in okay, I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna remember that this guy, Samuel Golden Ford, sells transportation squad. That's actually really good that they I like that they put this in, you know. Okay, so anything, a small backpack, I've already got one of those. I need I need a bigger backpack. Entropy yeah, I don't know what this this disciples of magic like. Can you actually learn magic from that? I don't know. I need to look up uh, yeah, look up all the magic stuff. Okay, well, thank you very much. Let's, uh, yeah, let's read those new books. And also have those, yeah, those crafting books. Where are, oh, here they are, the crafting books. Okay, so yeah, these take handicraft points or whatever. How many of Bless. those do we have? Okay, so we have 10 learning points and 10 crafting points. <laughs> which I'm still learning my way around. So, we have light armor and one-handed, which we will read. We'll keep these other ones for now. Oh, we also need to eat the ice claw. There we go. And crafting books. So we have alchemy, one, two, three, four, five. And lock picking, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I? There we go. We can read that. Handicraft, can I read that one too? I can't. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so now let's have a look at our skills. So we have, look, I don't know what all this green is, like what it's being buffed by. I don't know. But one handed is 25. So we should now be like at the next rank. I think we should be adept. Now, because it's apprentice, adept, expert, and master. See, the thing is, do you start reading master books at 75, though? Because if so, we would still be apprentice until 50. Wait, no. <laughs> I'm getting... I don't know. I have no idea. I need to look that up. But yeah, the point... Oh, light armor's at 30... Well, it, okay, it's at 23 plus 11. Uh, and one-handed is 22 plus 3. Okay, so yeah. I have no idea. I should, Maybe it'll tell us. Who knows? <laughs> But we're making some good progress. That's that's the oh point. We my. still need to improve our damage you a bit. Okay, longer. so I'm assuming yeah, the other quarters are going to look pretty similar as well. We have Ark Marketplace discovered. Nice. We are actually uh yeah, we, we get XP every time we discover a new location. So we got an alchemy lady. We have. Do you sell food? Walk blessed. What can I do for you? Okay, yeah, man. These people all have stuff to say. I wager you talk to a lot of travelers, don't you? I'm an adventurer. Any tips you could give me? <laughs> what, you're asking me? I'm flattered. But let me think. Uh, you know, my grandfather always used to read to us from this old book, Myths and Legends. I think one of the former Ark Magisters of the Order wrote it, and there were all kinds of tales about those mythical creatures that apparently roam Enderal. Grandpa always said they were just tales, but who knows? You should go to the library. Maybe they still have a volume of that book there. Ooh, there's a library? I'm such a nerd. <laughs> I love libraries. Okay, anyway, show me your wares, please. Sure. <sighs> do you have, you do indeed have food. That's excellent. Uh, orange. Uh, uh, I, okay, yeah, one thing you need to know about me. I hate oranges. Hate them. I honestly... Like, because my, my dad loves oranges, and sometimes he brings one, like, when he comes to visit. And I'm like, don't you dare peel that in my house. I cannot stand the smell of citrus. It's awful. But you see, I'm also in a bit of a conundrum, because spiders also hate the smell of citrus. So a great way to keep them out of your house is to use, like, citrus cleaners, because it repels them. And I'm like, that's great, but it also repels me <laughs> from living in my own house. So... There you go. There's a little uh, fun fact. It it sucks, uh, but yeah, don't you ever, so don't, don't you ever eat an orange around me? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, I mean, do we have? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was hoping for like some cooked food, but you know, sure, whatever. We May need to find a cooking pot. And see what we can do. We got, oh, you might be cooked huh? food actually. Can I help you? Do oh, you sell cooked food? pastries and sweets. Quite delicious, okay. if I may say so. You do? Okay, and so yeah. I you don't even yeah. need to shout it across the entire city. Okay, shut up. Thank you. We have a date cake. They say it's 600 seconds. Man, that's really good, actually. 
Yeah, it's worth four. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's buy those two. Uh, we've got some, N yeah, some crusty bread. Why, why is there two types of crusty bread? I don't quite understand. Oh, they're like different values. Okay. The 300 seconds. That could be good. Goat milk. I don't, really, I don't know which one's the best. Oh, pretzels. That's 300 seconds and that's significantly cheaper. Yeah, okay. Let's get the pretzels. Uh, and we're also going to buy all the salt. Because uh, I think that's what you need in order to cook. So obviously we can cook the stuff we already have. And we'll leave it there for now. Okay, thank you very much. That's Jesper there, who's just entertaining a child who's dancing, by the way. Hungry? <laughs> we have... Yeah, what do you sell? I don't know. Needs. But I think we're about done. We don't have much else to sell. Look at that dancing. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! You shake that ass. Okay, great job. Uh, where does this go? Foreign quarter? Okay. I think it's probably time to talk to Jesper. Ooh! <clears throat> Hi! What are you doing? Cool statue. Fruits, Who are you? Vegetables, no one? Bread, okay, you won't even talk to me. Great. <laughs> You're on a podium. Looks like you get to speak, but I guess not. Okay. Watch anyway, we've got a great here. The streets aren't safe this time of the day. I, why? They're not safe in the middle of the day? It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um, oh, meat market. Okay, that's interesting. We should be able to buy some stuff there. We have sign toast here. And yeah, I think let's talk to Jesper. Hi. Uh, well... Look who's arrived. Did you have any problems finding your way around? This city can be quite a maze if you don't know it. No, it's actually pretty easy. Not really. I'm used to big cities. Right, you're from Ostian. I almost forgot. They're quite fascinating, these places, aren't they? You can climb high, and you can fall just as deep. <sighs> and every place vibrates with life. That's true. <sighs> Here, put this on. And before you ask, yes, it's necessary. Just trust me. Iron sword unequipped, Helian garb, gallant shoes, and fine hat equipped. Ew. May your path always be even. Apples, dates, bananas. Why did you give me a bright bitch? Why did you give me an ugly bright green dress? This is like the worst. We look like we we look like we're celebrating Christmas. Green and red. Really? Is, okay. Yeah, so and just so a weird expensive. corset, but okay, thanks. Thanks, Jesper. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm searching for you. Let's live. After a long time in solitude, I, Teldor, search for a gentle nature who isn't averse to a quick adventure. Meet me on the island in front of Ark. There you will find a camp. Read the message and show your gratitude to me. An extra- Okay. <laughs> We'll deal with that later, I think. Search for the camp on the island in Ark's Lake. Okay, yeah, that sounds interesting. Man, why do you have to That's give me this ugly-ass outfit? I and hate why this. Is it Malfas who carries the <sighs> on his back? Noble's Quarter, okay. Okay, that's great. Shut up. I didn't no. ask, did I? Man, I hate that dress. <laughs> you could have given me any other color, but no. Bright green and bright red. <sighs> Lovely. I mean, they're saying this is a noble's court. Oh, well, no, I guess it does kind of look a little bit more noble. Oh, yeah, okay, you know what? That does look more noble. Fair enough. Fair enough, Jesper. Arc noble's court discovered. Oh, hell yeah, level up. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we the, these values are fixed. It's just for some reason, like, what determines these values? I don't know. Oh, look at that. Our health and stamina even. Okay, so yeah, I think we want to go for nine health. So, so we're level seven fever. now. Usually those gifted with magic have to report their talent to the order and then pass a ritual that teaches them how to deal with their magic. The journey to the water is what they call it. Once they've passed that, the fever reduces to an endurable level and new arcanists have their names registered in some kind of holy book. But there are other ways to get rid of the fever and I hope my employer can tell you about them. Okay, great. It's, it's great that you can uh, you know, speak so clearly while you're also running around. These guards are really getting in the way. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Well done. Okay, thank you for it. Yeah, because we do have this uh, this other quest. Still, we've got the first steps, but also, yeah, strange... No, arcane fever. There we go. Find a way to restrain the arcane fever. Which I assume uh, we'll get more details about soon. So, does this go to... Oh, the barrack quarter? Okay, almost there. Okay, great. Okay, we're, get, we're going through here, I suppose. Did, it, did you mention barrack quarter as one of the... What, one of the places when we first got here? I don't remember. Uh, I guess, I mean, what would be the barrack quarter? Just like, just where all the guards live, I suppose? So it is an actual quarter. So yeah, hi. This is holy oh, ground, keeper. Outlander. You don't belong here. Okay, well, thanks. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. 
Very nice of you, very welcoming. I mean, I'm a visitor to your city, thy and you're just telling me to servant, piss off. And thy path I will honor in life as in death. Cool, bro. <laughs> very cool uh, outfit you got there. Hell yeah, look at how high up we are. Come on, do you know what? I like that they made Jesper run. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, maybe a little immersion breaking, but it's, you know, it's Hold it, my useful. No civilians beyond this point without explicit permission. Who are you and what leads you to this holy place? Business. I'm Jaspar Belveric, and I work for the Naramese mages. Oh, right. The mercenary. And who's your companion? Marija de Luna from Ostian. Esteemed holder of De Luna's Empire of Tender Fragrance, the most prestigious perfumery in all of Vin. Archmagister Marigil sent for. Didn't he tell you? The Archmagister? Um, well, that does sound like him. Hmm. Fair enough, you may pass. But show this place the respect it deserves, mercenary. You too, my Dame De Luna. You have my word, fair lady. Thank you. You know, I'm gonna check that. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, sure, whatever. You terribly your job. Wow. Look at this place. It's huge. They did a fantastic job with this, man. They really did. Okay, you coming, Jesper? I assume you need to lead the way. Yeah, okay. I'll see. See, <laughs> I love that your uh, feet are phasing through the floor. It's a great look on you. <laughs> okay, are we going in? Hell yeah, I'm so excited to see the inside of this temple. Into the sun temple. What about the moon temple? Hi. Oh, very, um, kind of reminds me of like, you know, Japanese temples. Well, that went better than expected. M Mario de Luna's Empire of Tender Fragrance. Hey, it worked, didn't it? That's all that matters. Nobody will suspect someone who's already in the temple. Anyway, I think it's about time I tell you a little bit more about this employer of mine. His name is Constantine Firespark, and he's one of Narath's Orenthiel's former followers which the new Grand Master, Teolor Orenthiel, brought here by ship about two years ago. That means he's one of the former arch enemies of the Order. They usually wear green, while the Order wears white or red. That should make it easy for you to tell them apart. Firespark's pretty much the eldest of Narathsul's mages, and quite well versed in magic, at least from what I've heard. Plus, he's a very gentle and likable fellow, which is why even the Keepers like having him around. Let's hope he can tell us a thing or two about these visions, and help you get rid of the fever. Come. Follow me. He wants to double the patrols on the Penny Road. He wants one. Oh, oh to I want to listen to everything patrol. and see everything, but we need a to follow him. I also really want to see what's in these that chests, but we're not allowed. If you ask me. Okay, which way are we going? Into the into the 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 the, the chronicum? I guess. What what's that like? The library? Are they keeping the chronicles, perhaps? Yeah, it looks like hell. Yeah, it looks like I was right. Okay, wow, Jesper's just running. Okay, listen, I want to look at things. I want to look at things. Look, they've got a big telescope and everything. Hell yeah, very, very cool. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're wearing green, which I guess <laughs> indicates that we're part of this other, you know, arch nemesis thing, or just a visitor, I suppose. But yeah, all the red and white people are the order. Are. All of them. All of them started eventuality. Oh man. Oh, Jesper, slow down. I want to look at everything. We've just got a whole lot of empty parchment. Anything interesting? I want these soul gems. I want them. Okay, look, I'll be back. Trust me, guys. Okay, man, where are you going, Jesper? How far do we need to go? Oh, we've got an enchanting table. That's All good. All right, here we are. Hmm. Hang on. No, 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 no. That's not how you do it. Blast it. I'm just being careful. We right, have to. We do. Give me that thing. Now. <laughs> Blasted, blistering. Blazes! I... Uh, that's what you get for working with fumblers. I told <clears> you, we <throat> should be spark. careful. What? Now who the heck are you? Can't an old man have a moment to himself? Um, you hired me. The Magister, don't you remember? Oh, right. Joseph the Scrounger. So why are you here? Had any luck? Just spar. And yeah, we did find something. I suggest you first of all tell me when I allowed you to drag your flings up here. <laughs> Do you need me to explain the meaning of the words highly and confidential to you? 
I'm sure there's a lot you can explain to me, but let's save that for later. This particular lady over here needs your help, to be frank. Arcane fever. Is that so? And what exactly has that got to do with me? Let the Keepers and their holy rituals take care of it. What is it with the costume, anyway? This woman's magic is different, my sir. Just feel her aura and you'll see it. Plus, she's from Naren, just as you are. Eh, uh, well, all right then, for nostalgia's sake. I really hope you're not wasting my time, though. Working with these religious buffoons is bound to make any rational thinking person go bonkers. Anyway, that chair over there. Take a seat, and I'll have a look at that fever of yours. Okay, we've, we've got killed by the spoon here, which I'm very interested as to what this is. Also, we have Marillion's beak. <laughs> uh, lots of them in these little things. I really want to use the enchanting table, but apparently we can't do that yet. So, let's sit in the chair. I hate this outfit so much. I really do. <laughs> All right, then. This will tickle a little. Okay. Hmm, now you're right. This aura does feel different. Complex somehow and mm, powerful. And do you really want to tell me you've only recently discovered that talent of yours? With that aura, I'm surprised that you haven't turned into an Obaya by now. Hmm, fine, fine. I, I, well, that is, we will help you. But first, tell me everything. How you got that magic and how you met that scrounger. Hmm, I see. Regarding this vision thing, I think that your mind simply played a trick on you there. Not that it's much of a surprise, considering what you've been through. Actually, you were quite lucky that the sudden outburst of your glance didn't blow your head right off. Sudden outburst of my glance? What's a glance? Oh, by all that's holy, I won't start playing your tutor now. If you don't know about the basic functioning of magic, then read something from Balador Goldenstein. He The glance on the sea of eventualities. Alongside, but apart from the reality we're in right now, exist countless other realities, in which some events have different outcomes, so to speak. A version of this very same room, for example, with the very same people in it, only that Meister Firespark's beard is on fire. And what defines an arcanist, someone capable of magic, is that he or she can see those other realities and let parts of them come true. Well, look at that, Jasper. You surprise me. That's what I'm being paid for. How powerful an arcanist is depends on three factors. How far away are the eventualities that he can see, how well he can bring parts of them into our reality, and finally, how well his mind can handle seeing other realities simultaneously with ours. Lighting a candle is easier than calling a meteor from the sky to speak plain in Al, but as I said, read Goldenstein if you're interested in the topic. I'm not going to waste any time with lectures. And this chapel on the water, every time I touch one of those stones, I feel as if, I don't know, as if something comes back to me. Well, that's probably a sign that you should go easier on the booze. Skill, whether of physical or magical nature, isn't gained through touching some stones, but through hard work and discipline. Even though this screwball Endrelayan talk of paths and predeterminations tries to tell us otherwise. Inch, I don't actually know what stones they're talking about, but okay. Again, I did not just imagine these visions. They felt different somehow. Real. Ah, well, if that's what you want to believe, go for it. I, in any case, have never come across such a phenomenon in over 50 years of studying magic, and now we should... It all begins with the dreams. What the? Blasted, blistering blazes! Does this room look like the bosom of a whore to you? <laughs> or what makes you think you can go around touching anything you get your fingers on? These documents are confidential for heck's sake. I knew it was a mistake to hire a thug like you. Lashery always had a weakness for- Correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember you telling me something about dreams that led you and Teal Orenthiel here, didn't you, my sir? 
And you told me that in this vision of yours, the Veiled Woman said this. It all begins with the dreams. What? Is that true? It is, actually. Oh. Then, this near-death experience you had before you woke up on the shore. Tell me again, what exactly did you see in it? A room? A glistening white light and charred bodies. But the flesh was unnatural, grey, and I heard all these voices. Hmm. Well, this... this is strange, indeed. Anyway, for now all that matters is that we get that magic of yours under control. Whatever you clairvoyanced back there is of no use to us if you're dead as a doornail in a couple of months. And how can we do that? Get my magic under control? Well, that's usually a plodding process. The fever you feel is a result of your mind not being able to handle all of these possibilities, so to speak. The ritual the Andraleans practice to get the glance under control is called the Journey to the Water. Put frankly, it means one year of hour-long meditation, bland food, and abstinence from anything that makes life worth living. In due time, the Arcanist then learns to filter these other realities from ours, and the fever gets less and less. Anyhow, luckily enough, we Neremese know of a way to quicken that process. A shortcut, if you will. I'm not capable of performing it, but another one of us is. Her name is Lashery, and you should seek her out as soon as possible. A shortcut? Isn't there a reason this journey to the water is as lengthy as it is? There is indeed, and this reason is called ignorance. <laughs> The Order's rituals haven't changed since the Lightborn slipped out of their cradles, and the Keepers do their best to keep anything progressive out of their country. But please, if you're up for a year of austerity and stern-faced Magisters scolding you, go for it. I really don't care. Fair enough. <laughs> All right then, I'll do this ritual of yours. Where can I find this lashery? She's currently in a ruin called Old Rationgrad, not far from Ark. Just tell her that I sent you. Ah, give me that map of yours. Okay, now you'd have to be a total idiot to miss it. I recommend leaving for the ruin straight away. And you, Joseph, you're going to come with me and show me what your trip to the Sun Coast brought forth. Hopefully more than a bottle of honey wine and a hangover. <laughs> Poor Jasper, he doesn't even know his name. Quite a character, isn't he? But I like him somehow. Here, I owe you this for your help back in Riverville. Uh, and in case you're in the mood for a mug of ale and a good chat, just drop by the Dancing Nomad in the Stranger's Quarter. I'll get myself a room there for the time being. With all that said, good luck mastering your magic, my fair lady. I'll see you around. Okay. During the main story of Enderal, you have the opportunity to deepen your bond to several persons. Caution, these missions aren't available forever. If the main story progresses too far, the storylines of some persons stay hidden. Okay, interesting. So yeah, this is the uh, the character quest I was talking about. So we have some scrolls, teleport to Sun te Temple, so teleport to Ark. Okay, optional use the Myrad to travel to the Northern Heartland. Optional use the signpost Never in the Sun Temple. Okay, the shoot, yeah, all of this is stealing. Yeah, man, they really made a mess in here, didn't they? <laughs> Started every day like the last part one. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's Jesper's character quests. And there are three lots of character quests, which is uh, very interesting. Okay, so Encyclopedia Arcana Magic Part 4. But yeah, I don't think we want to read those. Uh, I really want... What's killed by the spoon? I really want to know what that is. <laughs> and yeah, you could see while we were talking to him, Jesper was uh, r rummaging around in the background, which uh, I don't think he was supposed to be doing. But hey, <laughs> it all worked out in the end. And I like Jesper. Okay, so we still have a little bit of time in this episode. I need to, like, try and find my way out of here. <laughs> Anything interesting in here? Hello? Oh, just, like, a bedroom? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, nothing interesting. Okay. Well, yeah, we probably don't want to steal from these guys, so we, we will hold off on the theft for now. I like this globe. Look at it. We've got a whole lot of interesting things. Circle of protection. That's stealing, though. Tales of the Wanderer. The oh, the swash. We have some of their stuff in our inventory, don't we? How long is this? Ah, uh, that's really long. 
Yeah, really, really long. Okay, yeah. But yeah, look, we've got... um. The oh, started the art of combat. The Wanderer tells of Neremi's, or Neremi's fire breather who is combining archery with dirty tricks. But yeah, look, if we look at our stuff, look. So, oh, right, we need to take off our stupid cloak. But yeah, set up the swashbuckler, see? That's what we're, that's what we, we wear, which is very interesting. Okay, so yeah, we just got a whole load of kind of trash on the tables. Okay, well, thank you for your hospitality, guys. <laughs> Definitely not doing anything I'm supposed to. Lost brigands? I don't know if that's anything interesting. No? Okay. Well, do we come from up or down? I don't, I think, yeah, it was down. Yeah, okay, yeah, down we go. Okay, so, should we go and talk, go and, you know, have a drink with Jesper now? I don't know. That's the archive. I don't know if we're allowed in there. Because, uh, yeah, as we progress, uh, it will, we will be locked out of that. But I don't know how soon we'll be locked out of it. So we need to, I'll have to look that up. But, yeah, I want to just kind of look around. For the rest of the episode, we're almost done. So, yeah, we'll just have a little, little gander around here. Anything interesting up here? But a nice little, yeah, it's very um, kind of Japanese, uh, no, not completely, but it, it, you know, all the pillars and stuff and the open the open area reminds me of like Japanese architecture. Hi guys, anything interesting up here? Am I even allowed up here? Yeah, thank you. Okay, cool. Oh, you just, you're yes. praying? Okay, cool. We just got a whole load of telescopes, pretty cool. Can we use them? No, unfortunately not. There's not much to look at right now anyway. <laughs> okay, so yeah, just kind of a little, um, a, a little viewing platform, I suppose. I love the sound of running water, it's so nice. At least not when it's secretly <sighs> deafening. <laughs> okay, what other buildings have we got here? Of course, we have the the, the 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 library, which we've already been to. This is the, okay, quarters, that's where people sleep. What is over here, though? Anything interesting? You got anything interesting in here, Keeper? Huh? Ex Exporium. What the hell is the Exporium? I have no idea what that is. Exporium? Uh, okay. Aspirant? Is this, like, I don't know, where the people who are, like, trying to become part of the Order go? But, oh man, I want to steal stuff. <laughs> Probably shouldn't piss them off too early on. We have some cool, cool diagrams here. Yeah, a whole load of cool stuff. So, yeah, these guys in white are part of the Order. We have a big statue, which is also very cool. Not sure who that's supposed to be. Malpha said, I don't know. The Path to Tome 12? Any, any, anything from that? No? Okay. Fair enough, I suppose. Anything else? anything at all. I wanted to find something interesting, but it doesn't look like there really is, so yeah, I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. Just like, Exposium. A temple? Or, I don't know, where, where you go to expose... Oh, Grandmaster's room. Interesting. Okay, I mean, it doesn't say we're not allowed in there, but yeah, it's, it's not locked, but I still don't want to risk getting in trouble. So yeah, red and red and white is the order, and green huh? is the Neremese. Nothing! I'm just looking around, okay? <laughs> and I, also, I hate this dress, so... I mean, do we have to, uh... We have to wear this dress like every time we come back to the this temple. Is holy I hope not, because it's going to be lame as hell and very annoying. But we do have these signposts here, so wasn't that one of our quests? We had to like use the signpost. <laughs> we have, yeah, okay, so that one's still just going on. We have, no, not the art of combat. Okay, that's the Jesper one. Taming, taming the waves. There we go. So optional, use the signpost in the Sun Temple, or we can use the mirror or the Myrad to travel to the northern heartlands. So. I mean, where where is this old ration grad? Okay, yeah, not not too far away, but yeah, we could go to the Myrad Tower. So where is the? There we go, Myrad Tower Ark. We've got Ark's Western Wall as well. So yeah, I think. I mean, let's be honest. I think we want to use we want to use the Myrad. So let's go to. Can we go to? Ah, here we go. We've got a whole list. We've got Main Gate, Foreign Quarter, Marketplace, Southern Quarter, Myrad Tower. There we go. So yeah, let's let's go there. Perfect. And I really want to see what this Myrad looks like. I'm so excited. Hello, Myrad Tower. Oh, that looks like that looks like a strange creature up there. Oh man, I'm so excited to see this. How do I get up here? Where are the stairs? I, seriously, where where are the stairs? How do I? Huh? I didn't tell them that already. How do? Huh? How do I get up here? I don't understand. Am I not? What the hell? Why do I have to jump? That's weird. Is it? Oh, it's oh it's up here. Okay, never mind. I'm just being dumb. I wanna. I'm so excited to see this <sighs> Myrad. Yeah, no. So stop, stop being, stop being negative. Look. Oh my God, he's got a mustache. Oh no, he's not. He's got horns. I thought he had a mustache. Blessed, friend. Where are you headed? I don't know. Oh my God, this thing is so cool. Hell yeah! Look at this. I mean, I can tell you now. This is like it's the dragon model because they're like sitting in the same way. But yeah, look at this. It's like what? It's got a, a goat head with four eyes. 
but then like you know kind of a dragon looking body but obviously with feathers and then it's got you know the big feathers and everything well well fluff i suppose and the big feathers oh my god this thing is so cool also nice that you're just kind of sitting up there it's kind of Kind of a safety Walk hazard, less, I don't think lady. that's a... Uh, Where do you need to go? You know, within the health and safety regulations, but I guess they're a bit lax on that in end of all. Okay, ooh! Could you tell me something about these creatures? My rats? About my rats? What does there tell? They're beautiful animals, majestic and wild, and dangerous if you're unlucky enough to run into an untamed one. In the time before the Blood Moon Revolt, a long time ago, tame my rats like this one here was a really rare sight. Nowadays, though, they're pretty common, at least here at end roll. Pity, somehow. Why pity? Ah, I guess that sounds stupid, but I sometimes long for the times my grandfather lived in. Being a Myrid Warden was far more prestigious back then, and even feared with sublime or keepers. Nowadays, well, you can guess. Riding a Myrid has become as ordinary as riding a mule. But, ah, who am I to complain? I see. And how exactly does the flying part work? How do the Myrads know where to go? Oh, well, that's hard to explain. They communicate by clicking sounds. I, as a warden, have been trained to hear them, but you probably can't. And through those clicking sounds, I also tell them where you want to go, before you mount them. Obviously, that only works for routes that the Myrad already knows by heart. Interesting. Okay, so I need a flight. Sure. Where to? Uh, we need to go to... Oh shit, I didn't actually look at where we need to go. Okay, hang on, hang on. Yeah, give me one second, buddy. Where do we need to go? Myrad Tower, Northern Heartland. Okay, Northern Heartland, that's where we're going. It costs 25 pennies. Sure, where to? Uh, Northern... There we go, Northern Heartland. Hell yeah! Oh ha! We need to change our clothes, but... Hell yeah! They're so cool looking. Yeah, they've got like goat, goat hooves and everything. That's so cool. I love that. It's got an actual animation of the thing. So yeah, it is just like the dragon riding from Skyrim, but <laughs> that's so cool. I love these things. They're so pretty and super cool looking. Okay, and here we are. Hell yeah. Oh my god, they're so cool. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that, that's a good method of fast travel. I like that. So uh, let's uh, put our clothes back on. <laughs> our proper outfit. This is kind of annoying having to re-put re stuff on, but hey, yeah, I'll take, take off this stupid outfit. Oh, it looks like we can wear that underneath our armor. Maybe? Can I put this? Oh, no, we can't. Okay, never mind. Uh, leather helmets. And yeah, I think that should be us back to normal. Yes, indeed. We definitely need some cooler armor at some point, but this will do for now. Okay, so now that we have traveled here, this thing is so cool. I love it. We will go and find uh, L L Larisha. Is that her name? Something like that. We'll go and find her in the next episode and see what she can do about our arcane fever. But for now, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Like it if you have, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I will see you in the next episode.